Here's Miriam and another installment of her Sustainable Scoop. Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Sustainable Scoop. I am always marveled by the accomplishments young people can make when they put their minds to it. But given right now that our government is having such a difficult time protecting our natural resources, there are students in our region, the DMV, that are working very hard to do the research that we're failing to get done. And I want to welcome them, uh, Luke Pullman and Ellie Batson. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Luke, you're from James Madison High School? Yes. Um, and this is where the program for stream restoration began. So could you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so the club originally started with six girls who wanted to do work outside of the classroom. And so they sort of partnered up with one of the teachers, Dr. Kirk Smith, and he helped them develop a model to assess stream quality. And so the club then began to shift towards more of a goal of working alongside more and more people to release brook trout into the streams that they were assessing. And so after they had established that, they then expanded into the restoration portion so they could sort of find one area where they could be releasing brook trout year after year. So, so really having an environmental impact here at home and also learning to do some really complex research. Ali, can you tell me a little bit about how you find time to be a researcher and a high school senior? Um, so it is a little difficult, but with the right like time management and with all of the people at James Madison High School, it's been pretty easy to um, to just plan times when we both. And you do started it. the program at West Springfield. How did you how did you get that going? Um, so actually, me and my friend first heard about it at a so or no, it was a Trout Unlimited meeting, and we met one of the women, or one of the girls at James Madison who had first pioneered the program, and um, and then she got us involved. And then we just got really interested in it and just does it, started Does it. it really kind of help inform the other classes that you're taking to be involved in a project like this? Yeah, it really helps with my oceanography and chemistry and um, biology program. And now, Luke, you did something that was really special. The work that Ellie and the other people are doing, not only were you doing, but you documented it and you made a documentary. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, so I created the documentary following the entire process of initially going out and assessing the stream with scientists to see if we could actually do a project and then moving into the phase with students doing a preliminary expedition to investigate the stream's quality to see if it would be beneficial to do a restoration project and if it would what we could do and then moving into finally working with students to remove invasive plants from the area and plant natives to really create an ecosystem that would benefit brook trout. It's a real tool that educators can use, so congratulations on that. Thank you. Now, Ellie, how do you feel about the research that you're providing? Is it important, the work that you're doing, and in what way? I feel like it's very important to the surrounding environment because of how important this species of brook trout is to the just the ecosystem all up and down the eastern seaboard, and I think that it it creates a lasting impact that can really that can really help a lot of different ecosystems. And what's really interesting is you're working along with other high schools, sharing the data, and then uh, where does the data go? Um, so the data is used um, by the students. We all log it into a system that um, Dr. Smith helped to create, and then it goes out to various scientific organizations in the area and to professors at um, colleges like George Mason University. And so the data that is being collected by the students is being used by real professional scientists for their work. And tell me about some of the organizations that support what you're doing. Um, so a big thing actually happened with some of the organizations, um, namely Trout Unlimited, American Fishery Society, and Isaac Walton League. Shortly after the scope in which I was filming for the project, they came together and formed a charter to distribute the model of location, assessment, and restoration nationwide. So they're going to be taking that system, really defining it at the core, and then sending it out nationwide so different high schools and organizations around the country can be doing the work that we are. So um, I'm going to take you to a clip from your docu documentary from uh, Dr. Kirk Smith um, because I think he just sums it up beautifully, and then we'll come back. All right. Wouldn't it be nice to have a long-term project where you actually have high schools working together? and other schools too, elementary schools, uh, middle schools, working together instead of competing. Um, that would be, you know, maybe that's just an idea right now, um, but I think 
the, in a perfect world, it would be great to have that as an example um, for other school systems and other conservation organizations to follow as a model. You know, you've got to move on to other things, and yet it seems like this is going to have an impact in decisions you make in the future. So, Elle, what's your, what are your goals? I aspire to be a marine biologist, and it's really nice knowing all of um, the things that I've learned through this program because I can apply it to my future career. Absolutely. Congratulations. And you, Luke? Um, so I would actually like to study documentary production, and so um, I really want to be able to find stories and things that are important, document those, and share those with other people to do like what the title of my documentary is, is cause a change. And so really invoke that emotion to cause a change and take action with people for all different types of topics around the world. And to, to benefit your cause and stream restoration, they can watch your documentary. How do they get more information about what it is you're doing? Um, so they can go to the Northern Virginia Trout Unlimited website and um, they're currently building a page in which it has a link to the documentary so they can watch that and they're compiling all the resources that people would need to learn all about the model and the program and how they can establish that at their school like through these organizations and really create that foundation to do real scientific work in their community. Experimental, uh, scientific, hands-on learning, that's inspiration. Well, I want to thank you both. I'm very inspired by the work you're doing, and I want you to go back and thank all the other students that are doing it. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank all of you for watching another edition of The Sustainable Scoop. I'm Miriam Gennari. Back to the news desk.